Nigeria to experience worse recession in 31 years, says the International Monetary Fund, IMF. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, has projected that Nigeria's economy will face the worst recession in 30 years. IMF stated further that Nigeria's economy will recede by 30% in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic which has disrupted global supply chains. It noted that this would be the worst recession in 30 years for the West African giant after a negative economic growth of 1.51% in 2016. Recall that Nigerian's economy receded in 1987 by 10.87 and 0 0.6 in 1991. The projection was part of the IMF's April 2020 World Economic Outlook Report, released on Tuesday in Washington, D.C., United States. Gita Gopinath, IMF Chief Economist and Director of Research Department, said the recession to be experienced would be the worst since the Great Depression between 1929 and 1932 when the advanced economies shrunk by 16%. It is projected that the Nigerian economy will rebound by 2.4% in 2021. For the first time since the Great Depression, both the advanced economies and emerging and developing economies are in a recession. She said, in a briefing that marked the beginning of the April 2020 spring meetings that are holding virtually. For 2020, growth in advanced economies is projected at 6%. Imagine markets and developing economies, which typically have normal growth levels, well above advanced economies, are also projected to have negative growth of minus 1% and minus 2.2% if you exclude China. He said further that the fund has projected that 170 countries across the world would experience a, shrink a shrinkage in their income per capita. He said the recovery in 2020 would be partial and the projections provided in the report are the baseline scenario. IMF exclude Nigeria from 25 nations granted debt relief. The International Monetary Fund has granted debt relief to 25 countries, mostly African nations, excluding Nigeria. A statement by the Managing Director of IMF Kristalina Georgieva said it will provide $500 million in grant-based debt service relief to these countries. Today, I am pleased to say that our executive board approved immediate debt service relief to 25 of the IMF member countries under the IMF's revamped catastrophe containment and relief trust as part of the fund's response to help address the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, she said. It listed the beneficiaries as Afghanistan, Benin, Burkina Faso, Central African Republic, Chad, Comoros, Congo, DR, the Gambia, Guinea, Guinea-Bissau, Haiti, Liberia, Madagascar, Malawi, Mali, Mozambique, Nepal, Niger, Rwanda, Sao Tome, and Principe, Sierra Leone, Solomon Islands, 
Tajikistan, Togo, and Yemen. Meanwhile, the fund has advised commercial banks to restructure loans in a bid to mitigate the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. According to a report titled Maintaining Banking System Safety Amid the COVID-19 Crisis, IMF Director of the Monetary and Capital Markets Department, Tobias Adrian, called for the restructuring of loans extended to sectors that were adversely affected by the pandemic. Adrian urged regulators and supervisors to also remind banks about flexible credit risk management. The IMF official also advised that banks should not hide their losses. Banks, investors, shareholders, and even taxpayers have to bear the losses. Transparency helps prepare all stakeholders. Surprises only worsen their response, as was proven during the 2008 crisis. Addressing the need to help businesses and individuals affected by the COVID-19, Adrian said the IMF would help to rebuild distressed banks. He said the IMF has deep experience in helping countries rebuild distressed banking systems through its technical assistance programs and will stand ready to help. The COVID-19 pandemic is a different kind of shock Never before have modern economics shut down at the drop of a hat. From one week to the next, many workers lost their jobs and paychecks. Restaurants, hotels, and airplanes all emptied. And consumers and businesses now face steep losses in income and potentially widespread bankruptcies. Adrian warned against a change of banking rules during the crisis, noting that banks should be given time to meet rules if they fall short. He urged the banks to maintain ongoing operations. Recall that the IMF had disclosed the United Kingdom's recent pledge of 185 million US dollars as well as the 100 million US dollar provided by Japan as part of the CCRT. Nigerians' exclusion from the list has become a topic of discussion in the media space as many are already worried about the country's debt portfolio and the unwillingness of the international organization to provide relief at this time of the COVID-19 pandemic. Nigeria was never part of the countries indebted to IMF. Contrary to the news going viral, Nigeria's exclusion from the list should have never been debated as the West African country is not owing the fund. It is pertinent to note that the novel COVID-19 is shutting down economies on a global scale, thereby sending different countries into emergency distress. It is in this light this that the IMF is re relieving them of their debts in order to help sustain and complement their efforts at reviving their economies. The debt relief will help countries move towards achieving the United Nations Millennium Development Goals, which aim at halving poverty by 2015. Debt in developing countries is singled out as a principal cause of poverty, causing human suffering and misery, as well as hampering economic development. All right, guys, what are your thoughts on this particular news story? What do you feel concerning this? It has actually been um, the source of worry and concern and debate on the media space as to why Nigerians were not or Nigeria was not part of the countries that were evolve or given debt relief. Well, it has been made known or made public that Nigeria actually is not owing the IMF fund. So rather they are owing China and that we can that we are sure of. So will China give them debt relief? Well we don't know. You recall that Atiku Abubakar and um, Dr 
Dr. Ngozi Okuja Oweala said that African countries should use this opportunity and privilege to seek for debt, debt, rest, debt relief from other countries we are owing. So we hope that Nigeria would get debt relief, you know, in the very near future. And I hope that our economy will also bounce back. All right, guys, what are your thoughts on this particular issue? Drop by the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Please do hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Thank you and welcome on board. I'll see you on the other news. Bye for now.